Hey everybody, do you have a Behringer X-Touch and you've been wondering how to connect it to Reaper for some tactile control? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Let's go! Okay, the first thing we need to do is set our X-Touch to the appropriate control. To change the control mode of our X-Touch, make sure the device is powered off and then we're gonna hold the select button on channel one while we power the device back on. This brings us into our control mode. So in this case, we wanna set our mode to MC, which is for Mackie control, and our interface is set to USB. And back here, we have a USB cable plugged in. That's how we're gonna interface with our computer. Now that we've set our X-Touch to be in the correct control mode, we can set up the software to receive commands from the X-Touch. Okay, so here we are in Reaper, and you can open a previous session or create a new session, it doesn't matter which. I've created a new one called Test Project uh, with eight faders so that once we make our connection to the X-Touch, you can see it doing some controls. So what you need to do is come up to your Options button in the menu, and you're going to go all the way down to Preferences, or you can hit Control p or I believe it's uh, Control comma on Mac. We'll look at that in a second. But anyway, here on PC, it's Control p Now... In the preferences window that opens up, you're going to want to scroll all the way down to the bottom where you see Control OSC Web. This is where you're going to add your control. So you click Add, and sorry, the window's on the wrong monitor here. When you click Add, your control surface mode comes up, and you are going to choose Mackie Control Universal. And then for your input and output, you are going to choose X Touch. Click OK, and that's it. You probably heard my control surface come to life already. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually show you it moving. Okay, so here's my surface. You can see I'm moving faders, and you'll see the faders moving on the software as well. And you know, we've got our select buttons, and our mute buttons, and our solo buttons, and our record arm buttons. All that stuff works. And then you'll just need to jump through and figure out what other commands do and do not work. I'll let you know right now that the scrub wheel does work, uh, which is great. And then, yeah, you just need to jump through and figure out what else works. So now let's have a quick look at the Mac version. So here we are having a look at the Mac version of Reaper and the setup is almost identical. It's just a slight naming convention difference, which I'll show you right now. So same thing that you do in Windows, you're going to come up to your Options menu and down to Preferences. Or you can hit Command, Comma to open this window. And once the window opens up, same thing, scroll all the way down to Control OSC Web. You are going to add the same control that we did in Windows, which is the Mackie Control Universal. And then in it, Here's where the slight difference is. You're going to actually choose Behringer X-Touch Internal. And that's the same choice for both input and output. Once you've done that, your control surface should come to life. And let's have a look at, uh, at it working right now. So same thing as before. I'm moving my faders and you can see them moving on the screen. And we've still got the select and the mute and the solo and the record arm. It all does the same thing, set up the same way. You just have to watch for that slight naming convention. And scrub wheel works just as before. That's it. So there you go. Super quick and easy to use your X-Touch to control your faders and commands in Reaper. Make sure you check out our other DAW connections with X-Touch, like Pro Tools and Ableton Live. I hope this video was interesting, informative, entertaining. If it was any of those three things, please be sure to like and subscribe and share all the normal stuff. Check us out on Patreon if you want to help the channel. And until next time, thanks for watching here on Quick and Easy Quickies.